Um, next person I'd like to call on stage now to the lectern to say a few words is uh, Mr. Mohammed Silver. Uh, he's editor in chief at the Nation. Uh, please give him a warm round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. As I said earlier that I, am, I was here and I am here for the recording, not the speaking. But anyway, I have the privilege to have an interview with Jasun Sahib twice when he was a former minister. And at that time I found that he is the man of words, he is a man of the caliber. And in the turmoiling situation of South Asia, we need a personality like him. But definitely for his vision, clear and crystal vision, impartial vision, he will be punished and he was punished. When his book was launched, just after two days of the launch, he was expelled by its own party, BJP, which was established by himself and his other colleagues in 1980. There was a time when Jason Saab was called Hanuman of the BJP, but now he is Raman of the BJP. Only because of clarity in the words and the deeds. I was just uh, going through to my pages of my newspaper for the last six months. And Jason Sahab, we are reviewing your book in English and Urdu since it was launched in Delhi. And I wish that I would be given a chance to read a paper on 9th March if it is possible. Then I will express my views. Today I am here to listen to you, to report in the newspapers, and you will see the coverage that we have done. So. I have taken some notes from my newspapers, and Jason Sam has genuinely said, and he commented about his book that this book is a purely academic exercise which should be read and understood. He further said that why should I regret my five years of rigor of writing the book. The book is my reading of the painful period of the 1947 partition of India of history. And this is very strange that Mr. Jaswan Singh is, has been expelled from the party only because of he was saying that Jinnah was a straightforward person. His, one of the leaders of the party, Mr. Elka Edwani, when he visited Pakistan in 2005, he said the qaid azam he didn't use the word qaid azam but he said the Muhammad Ali Jinnah was a secular, but he was not a punished at all. I was listening to Jason Saab day before yesterday in the House of Commons, and he was very eloquently describing the character the character which should be followed by other leaders as well, the character of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, as a straightforward, very visionary. And he very genuinely said that Mr. Jinnah didn't want to create a partition, he wants a safe place for the Muslims in the greater Hindustan. If Muslims would have been given that place, I do believe there will be no existence of the Pakistan and that region would be a very vast region comprising the Hindus, Muslims, Sikh, Isais and they would be living there without any fear, without any caution. But anyway, whatever has happened, it is a part of the history. Now, we should work for the peace, tranquility and better understanding. Pakistan is a reality. India and Indian leadership should accept it. Likewise, Pakistan always said that India is a big brother and I wish that India should act as a big brother. I will finish my speech 
If uh, the reason is because the time is very short, Jaswant Sahib has written a lot about the Muhammad Ali Jinnah. In one phrase, he says that his opposition, the Qadi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah opposition was not against the Hindus or Hinduism, it was the Congress that he considered as the true political rival of the Muslim League. And the League he considered as being just an extension of himself. On many occasions, Jason Saab has written and has admired the leadership of the Muhammad Ali Jinnah, which is a definitely a source of inspiration to all of us. At the end, I, I can only say that the creation of Pakistan was a reality, is a reality, and we all should accept it with open hearts and open mind. How can Muslims can live in India, where is the BJP exists as a second majority party and the biggest party, who expelled his own founder from the party only just for writing a book on Jinnah. That is why Jason Saab says, I am worried and sad that just one book has led to my expulsion, wondering what would happen if such, if Soch, Vichar or Chintan stop in Indian politics. Thank you very much.